Welcome to our Dot Glasses Measuring and Assembly Manual. In this short video, we'll teach you how to quickly measure vision acuity and assemble glasses for people who suffer with refractive errors. To do that, all you need is a Dot Glasses kit, which will include the six pieces to make the frames, a selection of lenses, two vision testers, a pupil distance measuring tool, prescription slips, and cutters to adjust the nose bridges as needed. The six pieces of the frames are the left and right eye frames, two identical temples, and left and right ear hooks. Let's get started. First, you need to test the customer's vision and if he or she really needs glasses. So see the customer on a chair first. You'll perform three tests. A long distance test without a tester, a long distance test with a tester, and three, a short distance test. To test customers for long distance vision, start by placing the dot glasses e-chart three or five meters from the chair at a height of roughly one meter. Ideally, just tape it to the wall. Use the three meter e-chart for door-to-door -door settings with limited space and use the five meter e-chart for vision camps for higher accuracy. Explain to the customer how the long distance testing works. You'll point to the E symbols and the customer should wave or point with his or her hand to the direction to which the E symbol is pointing. But verify the customer understands the test before you continue. First, do the initial test without a tester to see whether the person needs glasses at all. Without a tester, ask the customer to cover one of the eyes with his or her palm and guide him through all the lines. If the person can read the E chart, up to the line marked 2040 with one or no mistake, it means that he or she has good enough long distance vision for this eye and you can continue testing the other eye. If the person makes two or more mistakes at line marked 2040 or above or claims to see blurry, continue testing with the tester. Try all the lenses from the gray long distance vision tester and ask the customer if he or she sees the best with one of the lenses or without any lens. It's usually necessary to try each lens at least two times. Mark the lens power that works the best on the customer slip and make sure you get their eye properly if it's right or left. Then repeat the procedure for the other eye. Again, always make sure to mark the customer slip with the correct eye that was just measured. Make sure you are using the right gray vision tester for the long distance testing. In less common cases, the customer could be helped by the positive lenses from the black vision tester. So if the gray vision tester does not help, then try the black one. A few tips to help you out. The customer should cover his eye with his palm, not his fingers. Hold the vision tester properly. Don't touch the lenses and hold it vertically. Now let's test the customer to see if he or she struggles to see things up close. Give the customer a book or newspaper to read or a cup of rice with some small pebbles for those that are illiterate. Ask again the customer to cover one of his or her eyes with his or her palm. Try all the lenses from the black short distance vision tester and ask the customer if he or she sees the best with one of the lenses. Again, it's usually a good idea to try each lens twice so the customer is comfortable with the choice. In case the vision testers don't help the customer and the customer complains about poor vision, check for other eye diseases based on the printout included in the kit. You should also make sure to refer such customers to the nearest vision care specialist to receive a more detailed eye examination and possible treatment. If the customer chose one of the lens powers, which means non-zero lenses, then continue the procedure by measuring the pupil distance, or what we call PD. Place the PD testing tool on the customer's nose, directly in front of the eyes. Align the crosshair with the left customer's pupil. Then, check with which number the other pupil is aligned. Mark that number on the customer's slip. Great. That's all you need for the testing and measuring stages. So now let's proceed to the assembly stage. Let's start by adjusting the nose bridge based on the PD you've measured. To do so, 
Cut segments from the nose bridges of both the left and the right eye frames. You'll know how many segments to cut as the PD you measured is a number that tells you how many segments need to be cut. That means it's one, two, three, or four segments. Just check the customer slip. Before you cut though, make sure you keep the flat side of the cutters towards the eye frame. Otherwise, you'll have an ugly cut. Once you do that, attach a temple piece to each eye frame. Make sure to do this before connecting the eye frames together. All temples are exactly the same, so don't worry about a left and a right side. To snap the parts together, it's a bit tricky for the first few times you try it, but it will get easier with a bit of practice. There are a few ways to assemble, but we like to put our thumbs inside the eye frame and use the inside of our fingers to push in the temple into the hinge, keeping it at less than a 45 degree angle towards the eye frame. Ensure that both temples click in. Make sure you practice with the correct angle, otherwise it's difficult for the parts to snap together. After that, it's time to snap in the lenses. Choose the correct lens from the kit for left and right eye frames based on what the customer has selected during the testing. It's written on his slip. Align the lens to the frame with a round side towards the nose bridge. Then gradually push in the lens into the frame, going around the frame until it snaps in with a clear clicking noise. Don't worry about breaking the lens, it's very tough so you can push hard if you need to. Thicker lenses will be a bit harder to put in than the thinner ones. Also, don't worry if a thick lens, like a minus four lens, seems to stick out a bit from the back of the frames. This is totally normal. The front always needs to look the same, but from the back, the lens will sit differently in the eye frames. Now that we have the temples attached and the appropriate lenses are in the eye frames, it's time to put the left and right side of the iframes together. This is actually the easiest step. Just insert the narrower part from the left iframe into the tube part of the right iframe. Slide it all the way in so there is no gap on the nose bridge. You should also hear a very slight click when it's in properly. Then select the left ear hook, which you can recognize because it curves slightly towards the head and has some dot texture on the inside of the tip of the ear hook and simply push it into the left temple. Then take the right ear hook, which curves the other direction, and slide it into the right temple. You're nearly done. Now, just clean the lenses with a microfiber cloth and put them on the customer's face. Check the ear hooks first so that they sit comfortably behind the ear. If not, take them off, readjust the ear hook, and put them back on the customer's face. They hold the glasses in place, so this part is important for a proper fit. And that's it. You've just assembled customized dot glasses. Before the customer leaves though, make sure you give him instructions about how to care for his or her new eyeglasses. Don't touch lenses with your fingers, clean glasses with warm water and a microfiber cloth, and use reading glasses for short distances only not for walking around or driving. Provide the customer with a microfiber pouch for glasses protection. That's it. This is all you need to know to check vision for refractive errors and assemble glasses to treat these refractive errors. If you need more information, refer to the assembly manual printout in the kit. Good luck and all the best in solving your community's vision problem.